Hello, hello, Rebecca Kramer here. So I'm so excited, so excited today. I have Sue B. Zimmerman, the Instagram expert here with me. And Sue, I would love to, I would love to have you introduce yourself. Just tell us, tell my followers, the people watching who you are and what you do. And yeah, yeah let's sure. have a conversation. Sure. So I am a lifelong serial entrepreneur and I've been teaching Instagram marketing for the past eight years and discovered the power of Instagram from my seaside shop in on Cape Cod. I live actually here in downtown Boston. I don't know if any of you have ever been, but Beautiful. Boston is my favorite city. And yeah, I, I just discovered the power of Instagram and realized that I wanted to teach other business owners, how to have the same kind of success that I was having in my shop. And so I discovered the power of online marketing, online selling systems, automation processes. And in the past year, in the past eight years, we've been able to scale this business significantly with a powerful team of 20 and really teach business owners all over the world how to use Instagram as a marketing tool. It is the most market, it's the most powerful marketing tool of the decade. And there's so many strategies that you can implement daily to really attract the right audience and convert that audience either to somebody that signs up for your YouTube, subscribes to your YouTube channel, or signs up for your blog, or downloads a free PDF, and in our case, converts them into our Ready, Set, Grow program or our high-level pro coaching program. Yeah. Wow. So, I, I mean, I guess for everyone watching, I would suggest, because we're going we're gonna to get started, and I'm really excited, grab a pen, grab a, grab a notebook, because I'm sure that you're going to learn lots today. So, Sue, I wanted to ask you about, well, first thing, about Instagram stories, because I think stories have a huge impact on engagement, right? They can help with engagement when you use the strategies within stories. So in my mind, let's just, let's just start at the beginning. So yeah. Instagram, Instagram is a village village. There's now five places to create content, your feed, your stories, IGTV live and reels. And so with that comes eyeballs in different places. And in order to touch somebody's account or stay top of mind or memorable, it's important to create content in all of the neighborhoods, but not as a starting point. As a starting point, what's really important is to have a boss bio and a feed that represents your promise that you made in your bio. Very similar to, I like to use the analogy of a magazine. So the cover of a magazine, the promise that's made on the cover. So picture your bio as the cover. And the promise that's made on the cover is literally the content in the magazine. And if it wasn't, you know, so they did an art, you know, if that information was not inside of the magazine, then most likely you wouldn't buy the magazine again. Right. Mm -hmm. So everything that they're saying on the cover needs to exist in inside of that magazine. And the same is true with Instagram. The bio is the promise that you're making to those who have chosen to follow you. So if they're confused with that promise because the content in your feed does not align with that promise that you made in your bio, most likely you're not gonna have as much success as you could if you, if you optimize and do it correctly. There's so many details, all the ways to optimize a bio is, is, one, is one lesson in our course and Stories give you the opportunity to amplify, promote, and broadcast the content that lives on in your feed, the evergreen content. Stories go away in 24 hours. You can save them in the highlights if you want them as resources. But the truth is stories cannot be noise. It cannot be look what, at what I'm eating. It's like random stuff get you random results. And I see a lot of random things in stories. So I typically mute any story that doesn't serve me. The content creator doesn't know it's been muted. You can just hold down on anybody's story and mute them. And I'm only looking at stories that inspire me, educate me, make me laugh, or make me feel more intimately connected to someone with all the behind the scenes. 
So stories, because there are so many strategies, mainly the engagement stickers, when you use them strategically, you can isolate warmer leads, those that stop in their tap and take action, and you can have a one-to-one -one conversation. So I know that that's a little bit more elaborate than the question, but I want everyone listening to understand the intention of Instagram as a marketing tool that is the most powerful marketing. For sure. And when you say engagement, did, did you call them engagement stickers? Yeah, they're engagement stickers. So those are polls or questions? Question, the slider, the quiz, those are engagement stickers. So what would be some things that people could that people should absolutely avoid in terms of stories or in terms of Instagram. I mean, in, in terms of stories, but also in terms of like, there's, there's so many different channels. So feed stories, live reels, IGTV, like you should absolutely be a master at your feed post before you do anything else, because that is the proof people follow you for a certain reason. And if you're not serving up that content, they'll unfollow you or they won't engage as actively. Right. So how would you, how would you, I guess, because I, I, I guess you can see obviously from my feed that I'm, that I'm clearly not doing some of the right things, but how would you even start? Like, where do you yeah. eat? Yeah. So that's a great question that I think will serve everybody listening. So in order to have success in your business, you have to know who your ideal client is that you talk to. I know that my audience is primarily women 40 and older who are overwhelmed, not very tech savvy, and lack confidence. They don't like how they look on camera. They, 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 they've never grown up talking to their phone like their kids, and they feel silly looking at the camera. And so there's a lot of challenges to put themselves out there. Now, meanwhile, they are successful. They have wisdom, experience. They solve certain problems and they can help and serve. So there's a lot of educating that I do. And my audience are people new to Instagram, people that are turning their personal account to a business account, people that haven't made any money yet or a significant amount, or people with under 5,000 followers. So those are my people. Mm -hmm. And somebody else that teaches Instagram might be teaching someone how to be an influencer. And so at the very top level, it's who is your ICA? Who is your ideal client? And once you know that, then your messaging and your strategy and your content only speaks to that person. I share my team. In fact, I have a team account in addition to my business account, but every single piece of content has a hook, a description, a call to action. And so without having a conversation, you kind of have nothing on Instagram. Likes don't pay the bills. Followers don't pay the bills. Conversions pay the bills. So you need a strategy. And someone has a, a question for us. When we make videos, should we always add text as well? And if so, of everything we say or just keywords? So yes, captions should be on every single video in your stories because 89% of people have their audio off and you miss an audience. There are a lot of people who are hearing impaired. So you wanna make sure you add text. There are several different tools that you can use. You can use the app threads, you can use mixed captions, which is my favorite if I'm doing a stories with, with a video. And now in stories, the captions is right there. It's a new feature. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a feature right within stories. So to answer your question, absolutely add text to every single, every single one. So what I was going to say is the, the fact that there is the option to go live and going live gets attention. So when you go live, there's a notification that goes out and you're able to get attention. How would you say that people should be using going live with their strategy? Yeah, attention can be noise. So mm -hmm. it's always what's in it for them? Why are you going live? And what am I going to learn if I tune into your live? Are you pinning your title? Are you uh, creating a graphic for after the live to stay in your IGTV? Do you have a description? Like 
lives work to grow an audience as long as you're talking to the right audience. Thank you yeah. so, so much for joining me. I, I absolutely appreciate that you did give huge value to everyone watching. And please, please follow Subi Zimmerman. Her handle on Instagram is the Instagram expert. Don't forget to join my Facebook group, which is Social Selling Growth Masters, where you'll be able to also view this again. So thanks so much, Sue, and very much for joining us today. Everybody appreciate your time. Thank you. Nice to see you. Bye, everybody.